I'm Elisa Parker. It's the 13th annual Wild and Scenic Film Festival. It is actually the largest environmental film fest in the United States. Do you get, did you guys know that? Wow. I thought it was the largest in the world. It is. It's the largest in the world. And I'm here with Q Martin, who is a regular at the Wild and Scenic Film Fest. And Jeremy Collins, Jeremy, have you been here before? This is my first time here. It's a beautiful little town. Okay, so the film that you created is called Drawn. It is an incredible film. I mean, it incorporates both your artistic, beautiful, um, what, how would you even describe them? Because it's not animated. And you incorporate yeah. this into the film about your climbing adventure. Right. So it's not really animated. It's like uh, motion graphic, graphics, or what I like to call the moving children's book. So I'm taking stuff that I've hand drawn and then just putting motion to them to tell a story. So give us a synopsis with the film. You're climbing and you're going in four directions, but tell everyone about why this is such, also in addition to being an adventurous film, also a heartwarming film as well. Um, so yeah, the film honors Jeremy, uh, long, long lost friend, uh, Johnny Cop, And so he goes on this adventure for four, over four years in four cardinal directions. And he learns about himself, his family, these places that he visits, you know, experiencing culture, place, art, and um, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's a fun culmination of adventure and art. It's an amazing, uh, touching film just because it shares your relationship and your story and dedication to your friend, but also just watching your experiences. And Q, you were also with them shooting this for yeah. part of it, right? You were in Alaska? Where else were you? I, I was uh, in three of the four adventures. Yeah, so Venezuela, um, the Yukon, northern Yukon and then in Yosemite. What was yeah. like the wildest place that you guys went to of those four directions? Because you were in Alaska, what, and were you in Venezuela? Venezuela, in the, in the Gran Sabana in Venezuela. I, Maybe Caracas. I, man, it's hard, yeah, Caracas, the city in Venezuela. That's you know, you go, you go look it up on Wikipedia and you're like, oh, the most dangerous city in the world. This is going to be great. And we have a local guy who's driving us around and I'm like, hey man, will you drive us into the barrio so we can get some footage? And no, man, no way. I'm like, five minutes, just open the van door and I'll pull the camera out. And he's like, I am not going anywhere near there. And, uh, well, because no one had climbed that mountain. No one had climbed it before, right? I mean, there well, was a the folklore climb, legend. About, right, well, we're talking about the barrios, the neighborhood, where it's just like, you know, a murder every 45 minutes. Yeah, you, you're this, asking where the wildest place that's is. The wildest place. And I'm saying Caracas. Yeah, yeah even though we were, you know, a week, weeks out in several places. Um, but as far as being out there, I guess the Yukon, we were probably the, the most out there. Um, although there we, we had a little more communication. In Venezuela, we got stuck for a little over three days, um, kind of started, you know, like parceling our, our cliff bars and ran out of food, et cetera. But yeah, I don't know. It's all pretty relative, really, and, and fun. So for folks who haven't seen Drawn yet, what is it that you really like? What's the key message that you really hope they take away with? And even if they haven't been able to see it yet, like something that they could take from your experience and be able to apply how they're living their life right now. Hmm, I'll pass that to you. You know, uh, <laughs> I'll take that. It's, it's a really complex story and it's really difficult to narrow it down to one theme. But for me, it is there's life and adventure after kids. So my wife and I have two kids. And, you know, we were told, get married, have kids, your life of adventure is over. Now, you'll be going to soccer games and you'll be on PTA and, and you know, you're going to be anchored. And it just hasn't been that way. And we just refuse to live that way. My wife and I travel all the time. We take our kids on adventures. And Drawn is just the celebration of that reality. We live in that reality. In between each of those expeditions, I was going on trips with my wife, surfing, going to you know, climbing trips. And um, I think that come, when it comes down to it, that's the theme, is that there's, there's life after kids. I love that. I know I have two young kids myself, and I'm like, I am going. Yes. Jeremy and yes. Q have inspired me now to go to live in another country to take my kids. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't end after you're 40, or if you have children. Get those passports. Yeah. Get the passports. What about Absolutely. you, Q? Um, I guess for me, it was like <clears throat> the, the reality of that you can live your dreams. You know, just it doesn't matter what it is. It's like if you want to, you know, like I want to hike the section of this section of the Pacific Coast Trail or whatever. I just want to go to Yosemite. Like, you know, we can all experience those things. For Jeremy and I was, you know, wanted to <clears throat> work together and collaborate 
on a film project and um so i guess it's just yeah you can live the dreams whatever dreams they are small big you know just do it just it's get all out possible there. it's all possible okay they might have asked you this in the lounge but it's a big question what is the wildest thing and you guys have they've done some wild things but what is the wildest thing you've done to make a difference in the world hmm. Hmm. Uh, i guess for me is starting a nonprofit uh, based on keeping mega hydroelectric power out of patagonia which we have been successful with that's amazing yeah. Amazing. The wildest thing I've done to make a change in the world. Make kids. That, you know what? Ashley said that too with Solstice. She's like, how do you need kids? It's wild and crazy. It is wild it's like crazy. emotionally yeah. and physically yeah. exhausting mm -hmm. sometimes. And also beautiful and amazing as well. It is amazing. And it's terrifying. It's totally terrifying. Who I'm knows? Screw this up. <laughs> well, you're doing an amazing job right now, Jeremy. It seems that way. And complete this statement. I'm wild for. Mm, free rivers. I'm wild for tomorrow. Well, all right, Jeremy Collins, Q Martin. We're going to see them both back here, I'm sure, at Wild and Scenic Film Fest. You guys have a fantastic time, and thank you so much for joining us on the veranda, I should mention, of the National Hotel, one of the oh, oldest wow. hotels. Like, I'm going to just say west of the Mississippi. I'm going to make that up right now. Um, maybe it's haunted. That's a whole <laughs> other show. But um, it's been a lot of fun. We're going to be all around capturing the wildest moments of Wild and Scenic. I'm Elisa Parker. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you.